Hi, my name is Grzegorz Cieśliński. I work in agriculture for more than 40 years, and I will tell you how to increase yield and profitability of your crops. Today, I would like to bring you a little closer to the interesting, in my opinion, topic, uh, which is importance of soil in agriculture and the potential risk of uh, degradation of agricultural soil. Let's start from the very basic item, which is the soil definition. So what is soil? Soil is the upper layer of earth in which plants grow. It's a black or dark brown material typically consisting of a mixture of organic remains, clay and rock particles. Uh, someone could ask, is a soil degradation a serious problem in agriculture? And what are the symptoms of, of soil degradation? Uh, how we can recognize that soil is degraded it's go or it's going to towards degradation? So soil degradation is a big problem or it could be a big problem in farming because it reduces soil productivity what could lead to reduced usability or complete exclusion of soil from agricultural use. So if we think about the potential um, reasons of soil degradation in agriculture, I would point out three main elements. First of all is the lack of proper crop rotation. The second is the intensive cultivation of arable crops. And the third is intensive cultivation of perennial uh, crops like orchards. What does it mean soil degradation? Basically, it means changes, negative changes in soil properties. Uh, we could divide these changes into three main groups. First is the biological changes which are related to degradation of microbial activity. We know that microbes are necessary to keep soil in, on the fertile level. The second group is the physical changes, means degradation of soil structure, basically uh, related to root development, to conditions of proper root development, which as an effect of that influence the plant growth and finally yield of plants. And the third group is the chemical changes, uh, means increased content of heavy metals or decreased content of uh, plant available nutrients, which make the soil not very usable for the, for the next uh, seasons. Uh, how we can recognize that soil is degraded or it's going towards degradation? So I would say, first of all, this is the decreased soil fertility status means decrease organic matter content in soil, low content of plant available nutrients, and decreased microbial status of soil. The second group is the changes in physical properties. First of all, decreased structure of soil and increased compaction of, of soil, which make very difficult conditions for root system growth. And the third group, very important, is increased content of soil-borne pathogens, which could, which could be very risky for the uh, ne next crops on this, on this field. Uh, someone could also ask, okay, why this degradation is so important for, for agriculture? What is the import, importance of soil in agriculture? First of all, soil is a kind of anchorage and physical support to plants. But from the plant nutrition point of view, uh, soil is a very important so source of nutrients to plants and very important source of water to plants. On the top of that, we have also uh, a beneficial microorganism which cooperate with some uh, um, roots or some plants like my mycorrhiza uh, fungi, which could uh, improve uptake of nutrients and water by some uh, plants like blueberry, for example. If we know that soil is degraded or the soil properties are not that uh, good for 
farming. The question is how, how we can restore. It is possible to restore fertility status of soil for agricultural use. The question is very important and the answer is yes, we can do that. We can do that and all this uh, action we call revitalization of soil. So what does it mean? It is restoring of the original fertility uh, of soil and improving the physical and microbiological status, properties of soil. So what is supposed to be done to restore these uh, properties of soil? First of all, we have to run the proper crop rotation. The second is the use of organic fertilizers like manure. But in this particular item, we have some limitation or limitations which are related to the dose of application, which is uh, 120 tons per hectare, at least in European Union countries. And the second limitation uh, related to use of manure in agriculture is a period of time when we can use it. We, can, we cannot use manure in late autumn or in winter time. It could be used only in, in late spring and summer time. So we have some limitations related to manure. Liming. Liming is very important because it increases pH of soil and in this particular case some elements which are not available to plants, they become available to plants, so the fertility status of soil is already increased. But we have also some other mm, tools to improve soil properties. This is the use of humic acids or use of special product containing a selected strains of bacteria, which improve soil microbial status and increase soil fertility. Uh, actually, the uh, soil revitalization is, is not a new topic uh, because we have some traditional methods of soil fertility improvement like use of manure, use of so-called green fertilizers or liming. So that kind of methods ha has been used for, for many, many, many years. But now, presently, we have also modern methods of soil fertility improvement. First of all, this is use of soil conditioners or enhancers. So special products, including bacteria strains or products which are based on humic acid. Both are applied directly to soil to improve the fertility status of, of plants. So what are the main benefits from application of soil enhancers or soil conditioners? Mostly they are focused on the soil properties uh, improvement. Uh, first of all, reduced dens density of soil, reduced compaction of soil, improved structure, and enhance fertility and microbial status of soil. And what is important, important is plant response to these changes. Plants basically are very happy about those changes because they bring some better conditions for root development. They also give us a possibility for a line crop emergence and increase yield. So that means what can we recommend to improve the agricultural properties of soil? I would bring your attention to one very unique product, which is Bactim soil. Bactim soil is a, a bioproduct which contains a strain of, of Bacillus uh, bacteria. Bactim soil reduces soil degradation, pr uh, promotes soil regeneration, and accelerates the decomposition of crop residues. So in general, it could bring a lot of uh, positive changes to soil structure and soil fertility. So the question is how it works and what can we get from the application of Bactim soil? So Bactim soil is supposed to be applied directly to, to soil or to uh, plant residues and then we need time, sometimes a couple of weeks, sometimes a couple of months to see the results, but the results are the, is the regeneration of degraded soils. It means a quick transformation of plant residues into humus, the better soil water retention, 
and better utilization of nutrients, especially phosphorus. Okay, now some Bactim soil results in numbers. Uh, first of all, Bactim soil increases microbial activity in soil, and you, you can clearly see that this increase is significant. Also, Bactim soil uh, increases the organic carbon content in soil, means increases humus concentration in soil, uh, which has a very beneficial effect to plants. On the top of that, we have also a very positive effect of uh, application of Bactim soil to uh, reduction of uh, soil compaction, means improvement of soil structure. And finally, we also observe the significant increase of plant available phosphorus to plant after application of Bactim soil. So, to conclude, uh, if you have problems with your soil, if your soil is degraded, we have a tool for you, Bactim soil, which firstly increases the microbial activity in soil, which as a result of that improves soil structure, soil water holding capacity. It also in improves the uh, availability of nutrients to plants, especially phosphorus, and first of all, it uh, mm, prevents soil against degradation. All these elements, all these items are focused on the improvement of, of plant mm, growing conditions, root growing conditions and plant during entire season. Means we can get better plants, much healthier plants, which results in high yield and high quality of yield. Mm -hmm.